Hello wonderful wild ponies. In this Pony Foundry episode, we will talk about unexpected video material, posted by a guy named Alex, on the Digital Foundry channel. It was such a high level of bullshit, that we cannot leave without comment. This channel, has already made, comparative material. For control game, on the Xbox Series X and, PlayStation 5. This material show that, despite the advantage of teraflops, Xbox Series X, loses to the Sony console, in terms of performance. The PS5, has a better frame rate during gameplay. And it would seem like the end of the story. The problem is, if you're an X-Bot, you can't leave it to that. Xbox needs a clean, undisputed victory. After all, this platform was supposed to have a 40 or 50 frames per second advantage over PS5. Unfortunately, Xbox Series X loses most of the comparisons, which hurts the Xbox fanboys' hearts. But wait. Here comes the knight on the white horse, who found the little W. In Alex's video, the game's frame rate was measured in photo mode and found that the Xbox Series X had a better result. Xbox started of course celebrating, cheering, declaring victory, the end of PlayStation, the advent of tools and all that crap as usual. After you've watched Alex and Co's video, it's time to listen to someone who knows what he talk about. Me. How is a console frame rate measured? It is not as easy as on a PC. You cannot just run the measuring tools on the console. So the only way is to record a video and run it through the frame rate analysis program on the PC. Such programs work on a simple principle. They compare individual frames, and check if there are any differences. If they are not there, it means, a duplicate frame. Which we register as a drop in FPS. Of course, such measurements, must be based on video which is of very good quality. Potential noise, artifacts, can be misinterpreted as motion, and mistakenly count, the same frames as different. Which, of course, can cause an incorrect measurement. I wonder how all of us, including me, fell into that deception. Ordinary YouTubers have grown to the rank of experts with an unquestionable reputation. And, in the reality, they are ordinary enthusiasts. Just like you and me. The problem is, when you choose to defend the Xbox at any cost, you'll always turn out to be a fool. Let's start with the purpose of such a video. Frame rate comparisons in photo mode. Like I said, the frames per second programs compare the differences between consecutive frames. And as we know perfectly well, Photo mode, is a mode, in which we take pictures, of a static, still image, in pause mode. What doesn't surprise me, my software for such analyzers, in pause mode, or in photo mode, just goes crazy. In most cases, not seeing the difference in individual frames, and, assumes that we have a decrease in the animation speed, to one frame per second because, obviously nothing changes on the screen. Take a look at, what happens when, we try to measure frame rate, in the static game menu. When there is no movement, frame rate drops to minimal numbers. As soon, as we move the cursor in the menu, it is recorded as an increase, in the number of frames per second. I don't know how, you can call something like this, a console benchmark. Well, I guess nobody thinks, that the PS5, is not able, to display such a simple menu, in more frames per second. It is similar in photo mode. There are few changes on the screen, 
and the software that measures frame rates may simply show incorrect data. So, the results of such measurements are not very reliable. Of course, the YouTubers at Dog Shit Foundry may have better software. I assume they have one, because they deal with it on a daily basis. But it's still. It is definitely not real benchmark. The only thing this test shows is that the Xbox Series X has better FPS numbers when you watch a static image. But that numbers cannot be treated seriously because of methodology of counting the frames. It's equally valuable to measure the speed with a watermelon. If anyone doesn't believe my words, here is the material in which Richard describes the methodology in his own words. The whole principle of frame rate analysis is basically counting unique frames and an important task in that obviously is to find the duplicates. Okay, we made it clear that measuring frames per second in photo mode or while the game is paused cannot be taken as evidence of anything. Such results cannot be taken seriously. Second, logic says that measuring FPS in static mode doesn't make any sense. It's like measuring the speed of a parked car. Not only this is stupid, it also has no effect on gameplay where the PS5 has better results. Their own video proved it. Photo mode will never be used for meaningful results. As all game mechanics that consume processing power may be disabled in this mode. Frame rate in this mode can be intentionally lowered to improve image quality because in this mode image quality is the most important thing. The video showed us one more thing that the honorable author didn't intend to show us. It turned out that the PS5 version displays more details than Xbox Series X version. Alex of course, didn't say anything about these extra deals in his video. Gamers quickly realized that the graphics on PS5 has more details. Ray tracing simply adds a great deal to these moments when you have time to notice. I must note though, the SX has some issues on that BVH level being lost when it appears to be frustrum aligned, causing your character to disappear at points or flutter past like an 80s pop video. Minor, but it is present. I tried this on the PS5, but this never occurred. Gamers started pointing to these differences in the comments and on Twitter. Alex didn't like it, and he reacts allergically to criticism. Arrogant asshole, who stated that more detail on PS5 has no effect on frame rate. He amused me so much with that tweet that I decided to make this video. Dear Alex, it's not about frame rate anymore. In both Digital Foundry videos, where you compare graphics on both platforms, you didn't mention the missing details on the Xbox Series X. And, if you do comparisons, missing details are the things you should mention. After the first video, okay, you missed that. But, I can't believe that you missed it while staring at static images in photo mode. Lies, lies and damage control. Another thing is, if those extra details wouldn't degrade performance on the Xbox Series X, why the hell aren't they there? What made Remedy decide to cut these details out? Or, if they are there, what is keeping Xbox from showing them on screen? At the end, calling that video real benchmark was probably the funniest part of it. Dogshit Foundry called real benchmark the frame rate analysis of static images in a previous generation game that was once and is still a technical disaster and performance of this game is pathetic on both platforms. By answering a question asked previously. Why did Alex make this video? He wanted to give some W to Xbox fanboys. He wanted to prove that he was right by siding with Microsoft. Even the PC that was used in his video wasn't called PC, it was called Windows 10. 
Even though millions of computers running Windows 10 are unable to run this game at 60 FPS. I have no doubt that the purpose of recording that dogshit foundry video was to mislead people. After all, Xbots are not familiar at a photo mode. And, not everyone understands the analysis. That video was meant to give the impression that Xbox had won something. So much work to improve the image of Microsoft. Pathetic. Ah, I almost forgot. As suggested by Alex, I decided to check if it is indeed the fault of the game engine. And the mentioned details may not load. And, if it's the engine's fault, these details should also sometimes disappear on PS5. So, I ran my own tests. I did 10 trials for the room with reflections. Unfortunately for Digital Foundry, these bugs never occurred on my PS5. Load properly every time. Just watch. And, at the end of the video. Unfortunately for the owners of the Control Ultimate Edition, the Xbox Series X version is being held back by the universal settings optimized to max out the hardware of the lesser PS5. <laughs> what a twat! <laughs>